the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Concentrated. Let your mind be holy. God's fire. It is my prayer, and I will tell you, I still continue to press into this as a person. It is my prayer that we come into the full comprehension of this mystery. I believe that before Jesus Christ comes, there will be a practical manifestation of dominion over sickness and diseases. It looks like this dimension of dominion I submit to you, for some reason, it looks like the church has declined in walking in this dominion for various reasons. There are scientific reasons, there are climatic reasons, atmospheric reasons, all kinds of things, the kind of food that we eat. But I can tell you, the Bible says that the, the implication of our oneness with Christ is that something can happen to your body that stops it from deterioration and that you walk in health and vitality eating well is wonderful but that is not the reason why the bible tells you you are you should you are free of sickness i believe in eating well i believe in uh, all the medical things but I've, I've cautioned us don't be careless we have doctors here if you are not feeling well go to the back go and meet them they will treat you and you are still a christian are we together we are not going to be foolish in addressing spiritual things and allow people to die the doctors are not antichrist. While your faith is growing to stand and you know at, to, in a position now where you can be free of sickness, doctors, hospitals, and medicine are expressions of God's mercy. So please don't feel bad. Don't go and swallow drugs in secret and come and tell lies and say I don't take drugs. That's not the issue. Thank God for your understanding, but let's be truthful and be matured and take away any kind of childishness out of the body of Christ. Treat yourself with honor. Go to the hospital with honor. Take responsibility over your body. But at the back of everything you do, please do not ignore the Spirit of God. The Bible says if that same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead, if that same Spirit, that same Spirit, not another, that raised Christ from the dead dwells. That means if it is true that God did not lie, if it is true that the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he says that same spirit shall quicken. The word quicken there means administer vitality, health to your mortal body by the same spirit. I submit to you that the body of Christ is yet to come into the fullness of this revelation. There are people here and there who have caught it, but if we are to be very honest, there's nothing embarrassing about it. It is a dimension we can press to with faith and understanding. God does not lie. This Bible you see cannot be broken. Let God be true. And every man, including our experiences, be liars. Whilst we trust God for the ministry of doctors, we must get to a point where we carry this consciousness. I am one with Christ. Someone say, I'm one with Christ. Because we live in very evil days. You will see a teenager, headache, headache, and the next thing they will tell you they found a tumor there. Are we together? And you are wondering, how old is this child who was a healthy child? I hope you know that some of these demonic things are devilish. Are we together? I heard about someone who got up in the morning, I mean played around and went to bed. Got up in the morning and was completely blind. No symptom, no progression, completely. I've heard of people who within a span of one to two months, they just had an acceleration of cancer cells until it got to stage four. Just like that. I believe in this healing wave. I believe in the vitality of the saints. We don't contend for divine health because of fear of death. Death has already been conquered 
based on our positional advantage the bible says to be absent in the body is to be present with the lord it didn't say to be traveling somewhere to be present with the lord so whether in this life or beyond this life we are victorious and let me encourage you if you've lost any loved one to sickness bodily deterioration accidents activities of terrorists etc please find hope based on the integrity of scripture find hope and comfort that to be absent in the body is to be present with the lord nonetheless we are given the assignment to keep progressing in our knowledge until we attain a point where we can dare sickness we can look at these evil spirits that were sent from hell i wish i had the time i would have shown you the spirits that were released to the earth in the book of revelation they were released to the earth and they were given certain assignments kill a third of the people it was a mandate and then there was a rider upon a pale horse having the pair of balances and the bible says his name is death and his assignment is to kill men no devil will take my life before my time in the name of jesus christ many people are afraid now because it looks like scripture cannot be trusted again when it has to do with this issue of divine health and longevity these are the scariest areas for believers right now because it looks like there is a growing dominion of sicknesses and diseases over believers are we together to a point where it seems unusual right now for an average person to be free of any sickness it looks unusual but i submit to you in the name of jesus christ that before christ returns there will be a manifestation of this revelation there are saints of god without pretense and lying who will walk in the reality of this resurrection power if you believe that shout amen What's that beautiful song you sang by your spirit i will rise from the ashes of defeat i don't know the other part sing it for me Kenneth, Cop Kenneth Copeland and you can imagine that man in his 80s and he's one of the people that have represented an inspiration to the body of Christ sickness and health is one area you cannot fake for too long if you are lying eventually age mixed with wickedness and demon spirits will catch up with you the Bible talks about Joshua and Caleb these were men who were strong and even in their 80s, their natural strength was not abated. Is it not in your Bible? Hmm. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. I have read from church history books a few men who walked upon this earth and demonstrated that this thing called divine health the dominion of the saints over spirits that afflict is a reality please do not I'm going to pray for people before we end up 
who are having all kinds of plagues of sickness but you don't know how angry I am in my spirit not just because of my call by the privilege of what I do I have been to many hospitals praying for people I have seen how sickness can literally trap the life of of not just the victim but the entire family that every they keep building projects at a halt they keep education as a halt everything must wait to honor that spirit the resurrected king is resurrecting me that's what is happening do, do, listen listen do you know how wicked sickness is? It does not care whether you are Muslim, Christian, whether you are a baby. I've prayed for babies that I can How wicked can Satan be? Just when you build your house and you want to rejoice with your children, you get up in the morning and one part of your leg cannot walk. I was shown one of our dear ladies, she probably may be here, something happened to the father and he said he just felt pain on his leg and the next thing when i saw the picture it was like twice the size of a normal leg and everything was already rotting. don't tell me it just happened there is something these spirits know that the church is yet to know and the secret is not just in bold face somebody must be given the mandate to reintroduce this thing to the body of christ with authenticity and I'm praying that God will be able to trust us that in our generation we'll be able to say we have found something we have among the keys that we have been given that we can administer the same way you can minister the baptism the same way you can teach a person from being poor to be prosperous the same way you can mentor a person John G Lake the Bible says at the time of John Lake in Spokane that they had healing rooms It's in your history books they would keep people there for 30 days under a strong influence of the healing anointing and afterwards you will find them walk great men like Kenneth E. Hagen, Charles and Francis Hunter, E. W. Kenyon, name them. Ah. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrected. much of a blessing you will be if you can heal just one sickness just one category effortlessly you know how many people on earth they will look for you they will pay to see you they will cry to do whatever that is how degraded man has become we need a restoration we are tired of talk and claims of unverified stories authentic manifestations of the healing power of Jesus not just from one person or one man of God two or three men of God are too small to handle this urgency we need a widespread manifestation of the healing power of Jesus all across this nation across Africa one with Christ if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead the dead body of Jesus was lying on the tomb and the Spirit of God came and entered that tomb and resurrected that body now the Bible says that same spirit lives in you listen listen just help those under the anointing listen carefully Hear me the bit that we have gotten is what is the the little revelation that we have scratched is what is producing what people call an outstanding ministry right now and yet compared to what we still have to learn and know and manifest 
we are still toddlers as far as understanding when it comes to the healing ministry i submit to you on earth today there are great men but there are few people that can beat their chest and say generals of healing let's not lie to ourselves you know what it means to be a general you have mastered the dynamics of reproducing a result under any condition there are generals of prosperity there are generals of teaching but my goodness the world is waiting 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 and let me tell you church of the lord jesus christ if we do not validate this oneness by the results that we produce a day will come familiar spirits will partner with men and women and you will begin to see similitudes of many healings that are antichrist and no matter what you say about it it will not make any difference because if your child is dying and you're a responsible parent you will look for anything within your power to keep that child alive while on one hand we are shouting and telling people don't go to Harbalis, have you been able to be a worthy alternative a man who healed someone's son someone's daughter healed the whole family through divination of hiv now you are saying you should not go to that man jesus heals prove it and at the end of it we finish the service and share the grace and then we boast and say three people were healed out of how many and have those three been verified and listen i'm not being we thank god for what god is doing so far but let me tell you the truth when i return back in spite of the mighty things that god does here i know what an avalanche of the power of god can do there are a few things we have laid hold on by the grace of god we must press to reveal the reality of this oneness. John G. Lake, when the plague hit the city where he was, people were dying. And if you contacted that plague, just like a coronavirus was, it would kill you there, the foam from the mouth. History records. And he was helping the people to bring out the dead bodies and those who were affected. And the medical people warned him. They said, be careful. You are putting your life at risk. And they were right. And he said, no. Then it, an experiment was performed, we were told, where they put the foam from the mouth of one who was dead. And they found out, I was told, that the whole, the whole thing just died like that. They couldn't find anything alive. It couldn't affect him. Hmm. Can I tell you? There are arrows that fly by day that are being released to the earth that we have not seen. There are spirits that I'm, I'm not making you afraid, except you don't believe the Bible. There are sicknesses that will not have names. Medical science is coming to a point of honest admission right now that there are things that their machines cannot diagnose. Are we together now? mysterious occurrences satanic manifestations just like that a child wakes up in the morning and that's the end of it cannot see cannot walk cannot talk they go to the hospital and they find out that that child has some feet problem some heart problem just like that someone just collapses on the ground and they find out Abba. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, preaching is powerful. But you see, what we preach as resurrection today was not a sermon. It was an activity that happened. Are we together? The times I have seen the manifest power of God to lift, to heal, I have been blessed watching those people who were healed. You don't know what it means for a family when they experience the authentic power of God to heal verified verified that someone who was diagnosed stage 4 cancer the person goes to the hospital and you run all the tests and they say you are cancer free completely what 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 do you know how many sermons will come out of that testimony? 
the world is tired of the lots of noise that we keep making we need to understand that our oneness with Christ if true has an implication that we must demonstrate here and now is someone learning by your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected King is resurrecting me in your name I come alive to declare your victory the resurrected King is resurrecting me some of you as you are listening to me right now there are sick people in your family some of you as you came here now you are here with all kinds of death sentences celebrating Easter without experiencing the power is a mockery of God to the world did you hear what I said celebrating Easter without the power made manifest is a mockery of God to the world the power component the ability to validate that resurrection forget about acquisition Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.